Good evening, everyone. Sorry for this tongue speaking, but I have been given the scripture. Okay. Revelations chapter 15. The Song of Moses and the Lamb. Then I saw in heaven another significant event, and it was a great marvelous. Seven angels were holding the seven last plagues, which would bring God's wrath to completion. I saw before me what seemed to be a crystal sea mixed with fire, and on it stood all the people who had been victorious over the beast and his statue and the number representing his name. They were all holding harps that God had given them, and they were singing the song of Moses, the servant of God, who holy fire. Woo, I feel the ghost. Okay, and the song of the Lamb. Great and marvelous are your actions, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the nations. Who will not fear, O Lord, and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come and worship before you. For your righteous deeds have been revealed. The seven bowls of the seven plagues. Then I looked and saw that the temple in heaven, God's tabernacle, was thrown wide open. The seven angels who were holding the bowls of the seven plagues came from the temple, clothed in spotless white linen, with gold belts across their ch chest. And one of the four living beings handed each of the seven angels a gold bowl filled with the terrible wrath of God, who lives forever and ever. The temple was filled with smoke from God's glory and power. No one could enter the temple until the seven angels had completed pouring out the seven plagues. So I'm going to continue to read chapter 16, Revelations. Then I heard a mighty voice shouting from the temple of the seven angels. Now go on your ways and empty out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl over the earth and horrible malignant sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worshipped his statue. Then the second angel poured out his bowl on the sea and it became like the blood of a corpse and everything in the sea died. Then the third angel poured out his bowl on the seven or on the rivers and springs and they became blood and I heard the angel who had authority over wa all waters say you are just in sending this judgment O holy one who is and who always was for your holy people and your prophets have been killed and their blood was poured out on the earth so you have given their murderers blood to drink it is their just reward and I heard a voice from the altar saying, Yes, Lord God Almighty, your punishments are true and just. Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, causing it to scorch everyone with its fire. Everyone was burned by this blast of heat, and they cursed the name of God who sent all those <laughs> plagues. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hasha, Rasha, Hasha, 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 and Rasha. I'm so. Hallelujah. Ugh. They did not repent and give him glory. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> I may seem crazy. But I believe it was Jeremiah that said <laughs> we will seem as if we're drunk. But really, we're drunk in the Holy Spirit. I'm drunk off the Holy Spirit. <laughs> then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast. <laughs> and his kingdom was pl plunged into darkness. And his subjects ground their teeth in anguish. And they cursed the God of heaven <laughs> for <laughs> their pains and sores. But they refused to repent of all their evil deeds. 
Then the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great Euphrates River, and it dried up so that the kings from the east could march their armies westward without hindrance. Oh, my nose is itchy. And I saw three evil spirits that looked like frogs leap from the south of the dragon, or leap from the mouth of the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. These miracle working demons caused all the rulers of the world to gather for battle against the Lord on the great judgment day of God Almighty. Take note, I will come unexpectedly as a thief. Bless are all who are watching for me, who keep their robes ready so they will not need to walk naked and ashamed. <laughs> Aisha, ra, ha, Russia, ha, na. Hasha, na, ha, ra, ha, ha, ha. The laughing this guy, guys. Whew. <laughs> this is. I, I, I'm telling you, I guys, guys, I don't know how long I was doing this tongue stuff. <laughs> I'm still doing it, but I've calmed down. Okay, I'm free. Free. And they gathered all the rulers <laughs> and their armies to a place called Armageddon in Hebrew. Then the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air. And a mighty shout came from the throne of the temple in heaven saying, it's, It is finished. Then the thunder crashed and rolled and lightning flashed. And there was an earthquake greater than ever before in human, in human history. Ooh, holy fire. Ooh. The great city of Babylon split into three pieces. And cities around the world fell into harps of heaps of rubble. rubble. And so God remembered all of Babylon's sins. And he made her drink the cup that was filled with the wine of his fierce wrath. And every island disappeared and all the mountains were le leveled. There was a terrible hailstone and hailstones weighing 75 pounds fell from the sky onto the people below. They cursed God because of the hailstone or hail, hailstorm, which was a very terrible plague. Ay, 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 ay. So, chapter 17 is the great prostitute. Chapter 18 is the fall of Babylon. Oh, 19 is songs of victory. 20 is a thousand years. Oh, Holy Spirit just keeps getting me with this fire. Hashtan. Hashta Rasta. Hashta Ra. Hashtan. Chapter 21 is the New Jerusalem. Chapter 22. I don't know what that one is. It doesn't have a name. That's the final chapter of the book. Okay, now, where did I start off? I believe it was chapter 15. It was. And guess what, guys? My birthday number is 15. I was born the seventh month of the year. And my number is 15. Glory to God. Wow. Pay attention. Pay attention, everyone. Hi, Sean. Hi, Ha, ha, ha. Love it. So, the other day, I got back in the, I've been studying, studying Revelation since I had my awakening, which was, I believe, August 15th. And... I almost died. I had a near-death experience. And due to me knowing Jesus a little bit, I didn't really know him very well, but somehow, some way, he came in as I was dying. I said, you have to repent. And as soon as 
I heard his voice. I recognized it. I don't know how I recognized it. At that time, I didn't know until after when I started reading Revelations was when I revealed, I was revealed two dreams that I had when I was a child. And the first one was a bridegroom, which was, I saw a beautiful woman coming down a stairway that was so heavenly. I didn't know what it was at that time. These dreams have stuck with me all the way until after my near death. Um, it hit me. I was like, I dreamed the bridegroom. And I also dreamed the rapture. Now, this is how I knew his voice. Okay. Um, on, ooh, I just saw an angel flash. I saw. Ah! Ha <laughs> Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Glory to God, guys. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I had the rapture dream. And I, it was it was scary to me at that time. And I, I carried it with me my whole life. Like, why did I have this dream? What does it mean? And it, it was scary to me because... All I see is myself above the earth and fire below and all these people coming up. And then all of a sudden, I heard Je Jesus' voice. Come with me. Like, or whatever. I don't know exactly how it went, but he took us to where I believe is the new earth, New Jerusalem. Wherever it was, it wasn't far. I saw planets and stuff as we entered in, before we entered into wherever we were going. And I could hear, this is your new home. And then I woke up and I was like, wow, 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 wow. And it took me years, years. I was 34 years old when I was quickened. Unbelievable. Okay. So, before this, before the chapter that was given to me to read to you guys, now this was the Holy Ghost that gave me this, okay? Um, was the harvest of the earth in chapter 14. Um, use the sickle. Okay, so this is number 15, chapter 14. Use a sickle for the time has come for you to harvest. The crop is ripe on the earth. So the one sitting on the cloud swung a sickle over the earth, and the whole earth was harvested. After that, another angel came from the temple in heaven, and he said, and he also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel who has poured or has power to destroy the world with fire shouted to the angel with the sickle. Use your sickle now to gather the clusters of grapes from the vines of the earth, for they are fully ripe for judgment. So the angel swung his sickle on the earth and loaded the grapes into the great wine press of God's wrath. And the grapes were throttled in the wine press outside the city. And blood flowed from the wine press in a stream about 180 miles long and as high as a horse's bridle. So, guys, this is crazy. Ha. Oh, holy fire. He just keeps touching me. And like the other day, I asked him, I said, God, am I your prophet? And like, that's, you can literally feel him. He hugs you. When you have the Holy Spirit with you, you just talk to him and he will tell you. And it is, it was like he hugged me. And I said, and then I came out, am I a seer? And he hugged me again. And I was like, thank you. So, chapter 14 is called the Lamb. 
And this is what I was actually guided to, but I was stopped at 15 because I was looking for the hunt. Look at this, guys. This is so biblical. This is how you know I'm a, a true prophet. This is so biblical. The lamb. Oh, holy fire. Holy fire. Ah, Russia. Hush done. Then I saw. So hold on. The lamb and the 144,000. Then I saw the lamb standing on the Mount Zion. And with him were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. And I heard a sound from heaven like the roaring of a great waterfall or the rolling of mighty thunder. It was like the sound of many harpists playing together. This great choir sang a wonderful new song in front of the throne of God and before the four living beings and the 24 elders and no one could le no one could learn this song except the 144,000 who had been redeemed from the earth for they are spiritually undefiled ooh pure as virgins Following the Lamb wherever he goes. They have been purchased from among the people on the earth as a special offering to God and to the Lamb. No falsehood can be charged against them. They are blameless. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus and Father God. Hallelujah. I told y'all. I told y'all. And Lord God, I pray this right now, that you have mercy on all of my enemies and that you bless them. And it's all in your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. The three angels. And I saw another angel flying through the heavens, carrying the everlasting good news to preach to the people who belong to this world. To every nation, tribe, language, and people. Fear God, he shouted. Give glory to him, for the time has come when he will sit as judge. Worship him who made heaven and earth, the sea and all the springs of water. Now I told the heathen this morning that you're being judged. And he's been calling me a false pro prophet, and that I'm guilty of blaspheme. No. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm real. I am the real thing. And and you know what? This isn't my blessing. I mean, this is my curse's blessing, but this is God's war. This isn't ours. And that's what people need to start realizing is we do not fight against flesh. We fight against spirit. This is a spiritual battle, guys. The devil is real. Okay? Worship him who has made heaven and earth the sea, and all the springs of water. Then another angel followed him through the sky, shouting, Babylon is fallen. The great city is fallen because she seduced the nations of the world and made them drink the wine of her passionate immortality. Then a third angel followed them, shouting, Anyone who worships the beast and his statue, or who accepts his mark on the forehead or the hand, must drink the wine of God's wrath. It is poured out undiluted unto God's cup of wrath, and they will be tormented with fire and burning sulfur 
in the presence of the holy angels and the Lamb. The smoke of their torment rises forever and ever, and they will have no relief day or night, for they have worshipped the beast and his statue and have accepted the mark of his name. Let this encourage God's holy people to endure persecution patiently and remain firm to the end, obeying his commands and trusting in Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this down. Blessed are those who die in the Lord from now on. Yes, says the Spirit, they are blessed indeed, for they will rest from all their toils and trials, for their good deeds follow them. The harvest of the earth. So I'm going to read this again. Then I saw the Son of Man sitting on the, de on the white clo cloud. He had a gold round on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand then an angel came from the temple and called out in a loud voice to the one sitting on the cloud use the sickle for the time has come for you to harvest the crop is ripe on the earth so the one sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth and the whole earth was harvested. After that, another angel came from the temple in heaven. And he also had a sharp sickle. Then another angel who has poured or has power to destroy the world with fire. <laughs> shouted to the angel with the sickle. Now, I believe this is fire and spirit. Okay. Because that's basically what I was doing in prayer and all of this was holy fire. Like, okay, use your sickle now to gather the clusters of grapes from the vines of the earth, for they are fully ripe. For judgment so the angel swung his sickle on the earth and loaded the grapes into the great wine press of God's wrath and the grapes wrote grapes were trodden in the wine press outside the city and blood flowed from the wine press in a stream about 180 miles long and as high as a horse's bridle I've been oppressed my whole life, guys. Like he says here. Yes, says the Spirit. They are blessed indeed, for they will rest from all their toils and trials for their good deeds. All of them. Oh. I think we are exactly where I think we are. Oh, ay, ay, ay. Oh, oh, guys, I've been studying this book so much, so much. I can't, it's so weird, like, out of nowhere, once the angels got, I was like, I was being woke up, all types of weird stuff, being being pushed to pray, and just, guys, I've been dealing with some weird, crazy stuff, I've been attacked spiritually by undercover occult groups. And God has exposed this to me since my awakening in a slow process. First, he gave me the subject gang stalking. After I completed that was when he gave me the truth. 
And that was satanic ritual abuse. And I'll leave it at that. That way my channel don't get shut down. Um, I don't think they're going to shut me down. Because I'm now free. And. Yeah. Okay. I have. I have stayed faithful to God. I'm a sinner. I've been struggling. But. I'm faithful to God. And now that I got my gift of tongues. I'm unstoppable. Okay, so. And the beast was allowed to wage war against God's holy people and overcome them. And he was given authority. Okay, so where I, I started off is number seven, chapter 13. Um, given authority to rule every, over every tribe and people and language and nation. Now look, there's several times where they've attempted to kill me. And I just kept wondering, like, God, how do you keep getting me out of this? How come I'm not dead yet? Like, and they're trying to say I'm crazy and I'm delusional and all this in my head. No, because look, when he quickened me, I was given a new heart and a new spirit. So therefore, the double-mindedness and all of that that I was suffering with from the abuses of their ritual attacks all these years was broken. So there was no confusion. And, like, it clearly explains it in chapter 14. And they have been doing anything that they can to persecute me. And I've been through some crazy stuff, guys. When this all happened right before, oh, my goodness. Right before the pandemic. It, it started happening in 2019. And I was like, what is going on, God? I know something's not right. And man, we do the weirdest things when we're, ah, the, I was doing weird stuff that was not holy at all. But now I know why. Because God was using it to show people. I have it documented. Okay, so they're to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation. And all the people who belong to this world worship the beast. They are the ones who's. Names were not written in the book of life, which belongs to the lamb who was killed before the world was made. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen and understand. The people who are denied for prison will be arrested and taken away. Those who are denied for death will be killed. But do not be dismayed, for here is your opportunity to have endurance and faith. The beast of the earth. Then I saw another beast come out of the earth. He had two horns like those of a lamb. And he spoke with the voice of a dragon. He exercised all the authority of the first beast. And he required all the earth and those who belong to the, this world to worship the first beast. Whose death wound had been healed. He did Astounding miracles, such as making fire flash down to earth from heaven while everyone was watching. And with all the miracles he was allowed to perform on behalf of the first beast, he deceived all the people who belonged to this world. He ordered the people of the world to make a great statue of the first beast and was fatally wounded and then came back to life. He was permitted to give life to the statue so that it could speak. Then the statue commanded that anyone refusing to worship it must die. He required everyone, great and small, rich and poor, slave and free, to be given a mark on the right hand or on the forehead. And no one could buy or sell anything without that mark. 
which was either the name of the beast or the number representing his name. Wisdom is needed to understand this. Pray for wisdom. Awesome. Let the one who has understanding solve the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. Now, guys, I'm reading a version. I don't know. I'm not in my King James Version. I'm reading a different version. But the book that I have is called the New Testament with Psalms and Proverbs. It's called New Living Translation. So, um... If you want to understand more, I would go to King James because I strongly believe. Ugh. This is. Hi, yeah, yeah, guys. Hashimah. Hashanah, I, aha, I'm still new at this, guys. I'm brand new. I just started talk, talking in tongues, but um, like <laughs> it was crazy when I started, and then all of a sudden I just started flowing, and it was chum. It was. <sighs> Have faith. Stick by God. Let him show you. Follow the scriptures. Start off with Acts. Okay. Now, I've, I've experienced some stuff that's very supernatural. But we're not going to go there. Because, just in case, I want to be able to get this stuff out. And I don't want to go too in-depth things because you know but um it really seems that um I'm I, I'm right so <laughs> I, I'm in I'm not in disbelief anymore but that was something that the devil does when you're rising he comes in and tries to deceive you and make you doubt God and make you not trust him and and, and all of that and you have anything that's negative coming in is the devil okay so don't let negative come in fight that say no that's not true I cover that with the blood of Jesus that's all you gotta do I cover it with the blood of Jesus do not allow that thought fight it and continue to listen and God will show you he teaches us in different ways so how I learned I don't know guys I've been since I was very little okay I, I just there's things that I went through that were very traumatic and I'm finally free. Not only am I, but so many more. And they know they're free. So if you've had some supernatural stuff happen to you, you're not alone. And that's another thing that we need to realize as people. We're not alone. You're not alone. God is with you at all times. And when you call upon his name, he will come. And he will protect you. As long as you accept him into your heart. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Victory. Hi, yay, yay. 
Ah, uh, they can't charge me with blasphemy because I'm not guilty. Ah, I'm not guilty of blasphemy. Ah, and I, you know, I've known since I was little. Like, and some, some have said, how do you know you're a prophet? Has God given you that name? God gave me that name when I was little. I've known my whole life. Holy Spirit. Hashtara Hallelujah Babylon is falling Harnarasan Hashtaranasan Ha ha Okay Um So with that being said I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Y'all can um, make your own decisions. But I, I mean, scripture explains it very well. So, and those who are false prophets, they don't speak biblical. They don't, they don't, they don't have scriptures to give you none of that. Like, so, the devil can try all he wants. He can't win this war. So, I was wondering what that meant when I heard it has been sealed. It has been stamped and sealed. And then, like, later on, not too much longer, when I started speaking in tongues, was when it hit me and I was like, wait a minute. So, now, I know. So, victory. Okay? God loves all of you. Jesus loves you. You guys enjoy your night. Ah! And just patiently wait. Okay? Wait for the signs and wonders. Amen. Yeah, that. I, I just... 